I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man sucks. Everybody, welcome back to the Working Class Holes Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in the break room with my co-host, Josh Ricardo. Edward. Hi, buddy. How you feeling? Good to see you. I'm, Good. I'm feeling better. Feeling great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have one of my best friends, not just in comedy, but in life on the show today, which is really great. Uh, this dude and I have gone way back. We've been through lots of things. And one of the things uh, that he's been through that I've always thought is the funniest, most amazing, fucking ballsy thing. Uh, he has turned into a book called The Dad Emails, and he's here to talk to us about the book. He has one of the most famous podcasts of all time called Keith and the Girl. He is a Hall of Famer from the Academy of, of Podcasts. Keith, is that right? Oh, please be me. Oh, it's me. All right. <laughs> First of all, Keith Bowie. Keith Bowie. What's up, buddy? Hello. Thanks for having me. Thanks for uh, coming, beautiful dude. break room. Uh, I saw a dog walking through this break room before. Yeah, yeah. It's a, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> um, yeah, it's called The Dad Emails Book. And my dad um, wrote my ex-wife of uh, two years, um, said, hey, whatever happened between you and Keith, why'd you break up? They don't talk, so the whole thing's strange. And my ex-wife, I do still talk to her, said, what is this email? How do I get out of the fu your fucking life? You know? <laughs> and I said, hey... How about I pretend I'm you? Do you mind and see what my dad does? All right, all right, all right. All right. You jump the fucking gun, dude. Yeah, dude, you go. That's you do. Awesome. He, he does his own thing. This Keith Malley, he <laughs> runs with it because he runs his own show. He comes in here. He wants to <laughs> fucking big dick everybody. Um, I want to know what your worst day job is first. Scott, I'll talk. I have. Sure. I have parts. I've picked. I went through the whole book last right. night. So I have parts. <laughs> okay. I got a whole segment dedicated to this. What you asked. <laughs> I asked, what was the Hall of Fame? Oh. What uh, was the name of it? The Podcasting Hall of Fame. <laughs> That's all I was asking. But go ahead. What's your worst day job? Because you got some gems. Uh, I, with Keith and the girl, me, uh, before we started the show, me and Kemda, my co-host, dated, and she got me into kids' parties. And that's... Pro the money was very good, but I wasn't good at face painting. I wasn't good at balloons or anything like that. Can I... Uh, yeah. Were you dressed as a clown? Yes. Yes. Yes, but yes. Minimal. I like how you just jumped over that. I was like, wait yes. a second. So, like, can I ask about the attire? No. It's <laughs> humiliating. All I right. said it's the worst job. Okay. This is why I wanted to start with this because <laughs> I've known Keith forever, and Keith and I at one point were both raging alcoholics together. Uh -huh. And uh, we would just get drunk and just talk about all kinds of crazy shit. And imagining you in a clown outfit. <laughs> Thank you. Around children. I mean, you're you big. You're, you're a big, like six foot two, fucking Pennsylvania you. galoot, drunk well. in a clown outfit. <laughs> we weren't drunk daily. Yeah, I mean, nightly. <laughs> but daily, <laughs> I could nightly. show up to work. And the makeup hides a lot. It's not over the eyes per se, but it hides a lot. Uh, so you sweat in a clown suit, <laughs> hung over. Oh, I love it. And the uh, shit that so so yeah. So, uh, we yeah. have a. It's so funny because we do have a clown. On, he dressed as Krusty the Clown. Okay, but I he did was this, on track. Shaved the head, and I was yeah. It was a blackout kind of situation. Right. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so you're in good company. Yeah, yeah. All right. And yeah, another guy I'm, from I'm Pennsylvania. I'm pro clown. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Oh, dude, I would. I'd finish a job. Go into like the store or something, with, and it was minimal clown makeup, but I'd have it on. People are really scared of clowns, oh, yeah. adults. And oh, yeah. I, I went to like buy an apple or something, and the clerk went, "No, no, no! I don't play that! I don't fucking play that!" And I'm like, "What the? Like, homie, don't play that? Yeah. Can I? Can I get the apple? Like, I don't mess around. I'm like, what do you think I'm gonna do? Gonna but, kill you? The quick change? Right. This is what I realized because I was dressed like a clown that whole day, and it just this crazy blackout thing. But like, when you have the red nose on. Fun. Without that red nose, yeah, yeah crazy person. Just right. you look like a lunatic. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> it totally separates I, it. What what's some of the shit that you would say to these kids and why was it the worst job? Um of course there's worse, I suppose there's waiter. No, but for you shit, it was you know it's it's the goofiest job. It's I wasn't good at uh face painting, so but they would want super they loved superheroes. So but kids are easy to trick. And I said, Do you want to be the Hulk? 
And they said, yes, I'll be the Hulk. And so I paint her whole face green, literally. <laughs> and the parents are like, what the fuck? But then other Hulk. kids see it and they're like, I'll be the Hulk. I'm like, what if you're all Hulks? No one can stop you. This is smart. Yeah. This is why you do so well. You're a smart right. Thank man. You. Thank yeah. you. I, mean, that, I make somebody what... Batman, I just write Batman on the side of their face. <laughs> like it's Batman. Why I, that's why I couldn't wait to get <laughs> Keith on because Keith always has like a scheme. Yeah. Like Keith will buy a fucking website name years and years and years uh, before. He was like one of those dudes. Speaking uh, of Krusty, I own the Simpsons movie.com. Nice. And then oh, the shit. Simpsons tried to sue me. The 20th Century Fox tried yeah. to sue me. And I'm like, I think I would have gave it to you if you just asked. But OK, yeah. let's let's make this a thing. We had to talk to an arbitrator over the phone. Um, he's if if I took it because of the movie, which I did. Um, then it's a problem, but I said I was working on an O.J. Simpson movie, and, <laughs> and and then and then so now two lawyers are involved. We have one and uh, a friend more, but uh, she's a lawyer, and their lawyer, and the two of them happen to go to the same law school. And our lawyer was always smarter, and he was always trying to hit on our lawyer in the past. Anyway, I got paid. I love that. Wow. Yeah. Just for the because ah. some guy wanted to get some poon tang. Ah. Mm -hmm. Man. Oh, I love it. I love a good scheme. It's yeah. the best. Big, it's big so fans. funny. Now pe people say what an asshole move that is. Of course, cyber squatting. But it's like I don't know. You're allowed to buy a house and flip it. I mean, why? why hey, I don't think. Yeah. No. I mean, if you're trying to like dick over independent losers right. like me, yeah, I'm not taking your name, right? Yeah, your body, you're like, you're, yeah, you're fucking your buddy over or something like that. The sure. uh, Fox yeah, Studios, Fox Studios right. are doing fine, right? Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're, they're doing gonna be fine. all right. You know, yeah. it's so funny is uh, after I heard this story, like years later, I became friendly with Mike Scully, who oh, <laughs> wrote right. that movie. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to know why your shit was held up for my initial six months? Another buddy of mine like, fucked yeah, you. Let's get this fucking movie out. When did this website. low life guy bought the? I know that guy. <laughs> That's a good friend of mine. <laughs> We get drunk nightly. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. What time Keith and I got so drunk and he introduced me to all these like fried chicken gizzards or something? Is that remember that Mexican place when we were right over here on the corner by Steinway? It was like the like it was meat. Well, you covered we were black well, out. It so was it was know. meat that I you wouldn't buy the normally. The, lizard? the, uh, the, uh, the uh, but he knew about it. Oh, and, yeah. the, uh, the livers, the pork. Oh yeah, that was some good drunk eating, man. What's that bacon pork called? Pork belly. Pork oh, bellies. Yeah. yeah, I never had pork bellies. Oh, pork bellies is kind of fancy. It's a little fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, guy, little fancy. I thought you were talking about chicken livers because uh, like when the I was chicharron. Chicharron. That's what it was. Right. Oh, chicharron is. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's pork belly? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was but, good. But yeah. fried, yeah. But that's the kind of shit we would do. We no, would get. We would eat. We would do crazy shit, folks. We would eat. We would eat pork like... bellies. We would read books. <laughs> Wild stuff. One time we went and saw Wonder Woman. Uh, and we got so drunk in Wonder Woman together, and we were both oh, right. fiending for the woman who plays Wonder Woman. Oh, that we thing not like stop drunkenly. On the screen. Oh, my God. <laughs> we were just two drunk morons eating popcorn. And we had. I must have poured. I got a. We're the only ones who liked the movie, uh, we're, uh, we're, and we were seeing it in 4D. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I had icy coke, <laughs> and I dumped out half of it, and the rest was just straight uh, vodka. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, and we were we were bonerific over that. Shit. Yeah, drunk in a movie theater is such a, an experience because you can't move. You no, know, you're oh, kind of no. pinned in there, right? <laughs> you got so, your little bar in front of you on the floor. <laughs> oh yeah, we had a whole. Bar. <laughs> sure, right. <laughs> <laughs> he used to have this fucking story. That I used to love so much because it's so him. He he lived in a like lived in a hostel. Oh, did you? Yeah. Like yeah. like, like For a year. Uh, I didn't mind it. Like uh -huh. co like comfortable like comfortably. Uh -huh. Not like oh I'm down I, on my luck. But I ran the joint a couple well, months. That's in. what I when I say goes on the TV goes on the TV. <laughs> it was like the guy in jail like Polly Walnuts. <laughs> Don't turn that. Don't turn that. <laughs> my program's coming on. Don't turn that. He told me these stories about how when he he would bring <laughs> dates by the hostel. And, they, and give it the tour. Show I was the king, and then you know the, that's it. They're they're done. <laughs> <It's fair. laughs> He's like, yes, yeah, so I live in this. Look at this throw. Like, I guess the bathroom was what a they throw. They did the bathroom. I I'm showing them. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh my god, I love this. But you used to also be a waiter, like Eddie. Right. By the way, sorry. There was a guy in the hostel who I I, would, I think I wanted to watch Survivor, and he wanted to watch I forget what other bullshit. And he like insisted like it was going to be a fight. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Then I found out 
Um, he was there because he, he was a drunk and his ex said, get your shit together. Stay at this hostel until you get your shit together. So I got him drunk and had him use the pay phone and call his ex and say, I'm my own person. Fuck off. Over Survivor? Because, wow. Yes. Wow. Dude, you're like a sick, sick. I Thank love you. how sick you are. Thank That's you. diabolical. I love that. He wanted to see some movie Did that you get... know is, is cut up anyway. Who gives a fuck? Survivor has a fucking. <laughs> yeah, you I mean, gotta follow every week. First of all. Yeah. Yeah. It was back in the day when they yeah. were ugly. Those yeah. are important days. At a hostel, they don't have DVR. <laughs> right, right. Well, that's yeah. the best. Any psycho wants to watch a movie on regular cable. Yeah. Yeah, it's on TBS. Like, what kind of loser are you that you're watching that's the red flag. S- Superman 2's on TBS? Two and a half hours they still cut 30 minutes from the movie all commercials what's the worst weight weight job you ever had uh just anything with customers yeah um you know the were uh, you were like applebee's or what chain were you working at uh it was. It went from diners to really like four star shit. Oh, that's right. You were like an alcoholic guy that was like a high end. What? Yeah. <laughs> you used to get drunk at work. You would tell me about getting drunk at the fine dining. I don't think I. I and don't you got think fired so. the day you got fired. You got drunk that day. There was a restaurant that I was drunk and got fired. <laughs> yes. Was yeah, I love a, what you said. You looked at me like that I was like a two star, four star. Oh, you yeah, show yeah, up. Yeah, We're star, talking yeah. Michelin tires over here. Then you show up with. <laughs> Clear eyes. Michelin tires. That's right. You just show clear eyes. 77 Camaro out front with Michelin tires. He's <laughs> like, hey, yeah, it's four star. <laughs> Do you know, the, uh, you know the shit shake story? I want to. Yeah. All right. So this was at the Comfort Diner. It's closed now, probably for health reasons. Um, and these kids, let's say the place closed at 11, let's say. And uh, these kids came in at like 10.59. And, uh, like teenagers? Teenagers. And they're like, I think, I think, at, at least, easily at least. Um, it, it's hard to know age for me. But uh, they said, hey, it's 1059, but you're open. You have to serve us. And, and you know, managers are pussies, of course. And they're yeah. like, yeah, okay. They, it's like eight of them. They order, they share fries and uh, they get a milkshake or something. They get a milkshake and nothing. And they're, they're so they're like holding their whole out. line up. Yeah. The whole thing. It's like a $10 check. Is that right? like they're the just... waiter, like Cardinal? Th- like that's Dude, it's the same. biggest. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. Eddie, I could see you doing some shit. Dude, I, I'm pissed right there. Yeah, yeah right. Sure. That's firing yeah. you. You know what time it is. And you came in saying you have yes, to. Yes, so I'm you already knew yeah. you, what you're going to do. Right. So it's the manager hiding me. A busboy left. Everybody else uh, went home. And then they 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 make a mess. They leave. They There's a napkin that says your tips under this napkin. I'm like, I know what fucking is. Yeah, right. So I uh, I open the napkin and it's like, ha ha, fuck you. You know. Um, then they come in another day. Oh, you right. Oh, they, why would they to do that? Uh, I remember they get fries and a shake. I go downstairs. I shit in a to-go cup. <laughs> I go back upstairs. I make a milkshake, chocolate milkshake out of the shit and milk and ice cream. Of course. And then I gave it. They drank it. Whoa. No joke. I had to cut the log in half because it was really sticking out like yeah. the fucking Titanic. And then I, I, I go, here, here's the second one on me. And they drank it. And that's that's my famous shit. Oh, story. and wow. none, of, and none I, of them knew. Wow. Of, they said they liked it. No joke. They, they said like what that was What was the good. tip? No tip. Uh, was there a tip? I did the tiniest tip. Wow. If there was a tip. That is wild. So why you, would you ever, shit what? shaked them. Yeah. Well, one, they shat on me. Why the? And I shit shake. Why them. did wow. they come back? Who does that and, and comes back? Entitled assholes. Wow, I'm so glad you did that. I never you. thought I'd ever I'm, say that about anything like that. There's so many things that I'm amazed about right here, though. But first, yes, <laughs> being able to fucking line up a shit. That well, well, I was <laughs> right, right. Dude, that I mean, was my first like just another day at the office to just keep whistling just, in the stall, just dropping a log at the drop, you know, and fucking at will into a cup. Living in a first hostel, of all, no one has out the, some things. No one has the time to do that, but you make time. Yes, and <laughs> yes, you, when it's important, right. you make time. <laughs> But I did get lucky. God provided, and I had a lo- happen to have a log ready. He knew, right? And what I do with that log is my gift back to God. <laughs> my gift back to God. I mean, what happens? You think to those people, the stomachs? Like, what do they puke? Do, do they, they do they shit different? Do they do, shit my shit? Yeah. Now, see, now you're getting into a whole other science fiction background. Yeah. Do they throw up? It's food poisoning, right? 
They just think they got... There, there is a thing. It's where, not like, vegetables. <laughs> it's a food that, poisoning. People I guess. that like, have IBS, there is a, like uh, a thing. Like if you have, see, here's the thing. It was like a solid shit. It wasn't mm-hmm. like diarrhea. Right. Whoa, correct. There are theories out there that the theories health, that it's. Were you on these blogs? Theories. <laughs> I read. Look at Eddie's on these deuce, deuce and blogs. <laughs> fucking shit for him. Uh, but there are like theories though that that is good if it's good bacteria for you for your gut. Okay, but how? <laughs> so, so, so it's healthy. What, what if this whole time Keith's been like the real probiotic guy? Like this is. <laughs> right. I'm saying. I've never seen anything like this. We got this guy's shit in New York City. He cured my all my stomach problems. You didn't even have to keep it in the fridge. Yeah, I now can eat wheat. <laughs> You know what? I was in the army and before. I mean, how you you must mix a hell of a milkshake, my friend. <laughs> we uh, in the army, be when everybody he just gets did a full log of shit. <laughs> when everybody got to boot camp, everybody right Here's away. Here's the tin. Right, right away you get you sick. Get the extras. Yeah, right, the extra on the side. <laughs> Go ahead, Keith. Sorry. But now I was just gonna say, everybody in the army, you meet everybody and everybody gets sick right away because you're getting everybody's diseases, yeah. and then you're stronger. And you, you hardly ever get so sick. So the army is what taught you this. So I am making people strong. Yeah. Keith was in the army, right? Yeah. 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 For, did you get dishonorably discharged? No, dumb fuck. <laughs> I don't know how long back this you shit shake You son of a bitch. You, you got your purple heart? I got my fucking, it's my purple heart, veteran right on wow, top. Wow, bro, purple yeah. heart, dude, wow. He yeah. doesn't have a purple heart. The purple heart. heart's fake, bro. Yeah, he's fake purple. <laughs> that. <laughs> This fucking dude. <laughs> That's you can just buy those, dude. This is like you can buy those on the internet. Russian dolls of just like insanity, yeah. and it's a fake purple heart. That's yeah. why when you're like, no, no, this is good. Start here. Like, no, 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 we can't start right at the book. There's just there's so many layers to weirdo Keith. Just so Keith cool. will do the weirdest shit. In, like nothing ever. Eh, that's just what I do. So let me ask you this: When you get hired at the four-star Michelin restaurant, yes. do you do you do you mention the shit show? <laughs> no, you have <laughs> you have resume. it doesn't come up. Because <laughs> they Not a resume piece. No one asked that. They go, "Do you know your wines?" I mean, honestly, can you make shit taste like a chocolate shake? <laughs> yeah, you I turn shit whole... into shinola. <laughs> you really do. Yeah. I I the fact that these fucking idiots are drinking your. <laughs> Shit shake And how did you you, The milk and the cream With the fuck Oh it's a beauty It's a thing of beauty Did you stir it Now you have to mix it I used the mixer (laughs) Yeah but now you gotta Did you wash it at least I washed it Oh What are you gonna do Can you imagine that Like yeah well One time that did steer some turd (laughs) But I never use it again I might I might ever fucking (laughs) I might never go out to eat again (laughs) Knowing that a human can do that Oh my god It's safe You're safe And I know I'm scaring customers you know taking food back or whatnot but you can't do that shit no pun in front of other waiters sure you, you just can't somebody's yeah, yeah. gonna squeal it was yes. just me and the one bus ah, ah. that knew these guys yes. from before yeah too, yeah yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 everything came together yeah yeah it definitely yeah you, it needs to be a covert op right. yeah <laughs> yeah not many guys turn the other cheek when they see one of their <laughs> friends and employees <laughs> right Full log of the to go cup coming through hot corner <laughs> behind you, behind you. <laughs> it's got it on a tray. Thank you, chef. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to get to the book real quick. Um, because I'm gonna blow your mind, dude. I've been around for this whole thing. This whole thing, I've been around. Mm-hmm. And after reading the book, I think your dad is just a misunderstood. <laughs> I think he's really trying to get you two crazy kids back together yeah. and possibly and fuck her, but possibly not, fuck but her. not before you get back together. Right, here's my, <laughs> my mom who, who is still married to, she's dead now. Um, but, uh, this was going on when they were still together and, uh, he would say like my wife, a fine woman, but you're desirous and you make this old man's libido jingle. That's not a third into this book. I know where spoiler, I catfish my dad for a year. As if I'm my ex. So that leads to I. We actually have physical sex. He doesn't even know it's really me. But anyway, too far. <laughs> Keith takes it too far. I'm like Dad, <laughs> thing. He's got a fucking wig on. It's really dark. <laughs> so this is a little part from episode three. I could keep secrets very well, and here's why I decided he said that. Said that to her. He goes, I, 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 I keep secrets very here's well. Here's why I decided. Wow. I think yeah. your dad, uh, it really is a good guy. Uh huh. And he's just trying to get you guys. You know, yeah. he sees two soulmates and he wants to make sure. it work. 
So this is By fake. the way, I, this feels important. He was a Catholic priest before he got married. Oh, I was wow. going to get to that yeah. too. Yeah, fake cat. This is the fake cat part. I'm just going to paraphrase a couple of these. Okay. Uh, hello, this is weird to share, but I guess it's best. You can tell me what you think. Uh... He tried to make things work, but I believe he gave up trying when I wasn't giving back enough. It's been two years since the divorce, and he's moved on with Kyle with a, no, a lovely new family. Uh, is it too late to tell him now how I feel? <laughs> this uh, all this stuff, right? Yeah. This is all Keith pretending to be Cat, his ex. And this is what the dad says. Dear Catherine, never in my life that I see two people look more in love than you and Keith on your wedding day. All right, so now he's like, I'm a good guy. I want to get you guys back. I think you guys have so much to share with each other. Just be open and honest with him. This is the best part. I don't think it is a done deal mm-hmm. <laughs> between him and Kyle. Right. Right. <laughs> ah, look at this fucking guy. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Vonnegut of our era here. Can I ask you what you've seen that makes me think I'm not being out of line in regards to him? Now, now Keith's like, I'm pushing it. Fake cat's like, what do you mean? What do you see? And again, I don't think this will go on for like two weeks, maybe a month tops, until of course it does go on. He takes back that he says that, and he says, "No, you guys shouldn't be together after but all." And the way starts- he kicks this off is, "You are extremely pretty, <laughs> and on your wedding day, you both looked as if you were the luckiest people on earth. You are extremely pretty." <laughs> Why would you say that to your daughter-in-law? <laughs> Not a like, if I know my son and the go-getter that he is, he would shit in a man's shake if he just disrespected you. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That, it was, and it goes on, but it's a lot of like... So, uh, let me recap, because you gave yeah. the little preface before. So, your dad reaches out to your ex. Yes. Your ex is like, oh my God, your dad right. is so annoying. It happens to be, just a little bonus... He reached out to her on my birthday, and that means he's thinking about me because it's my birthday, and then he goes, oh, now I'm thinking about his ex-wife. Let me rate the ex-wife. Then he rates me after and goes, how's my son doing on his on his special day? I'm like, oh, he's about <laughs> like to be within, doing great. Because like you, you see the timestamp, you're like, yeah, dude. Yes. All right, here's, here's one. Yeah, they're all in order, as is not one email is missing. Oh, I so think good. this is his dad now. Oh, say, dude, I can't wait to read this. I think Kat can jump too. Yes, I do live with this woman, but we're currently having problems. I'm looking for something different. I was thinking about Keith, but what's up with you? (laughs) What is that about? Well, she's asking. Hey, hey, you know, maybe how about a wiser, smarter Keith? (laughs) (laughs) This goes on for a year? A year. (sighs) And what was like... What I so I tell him at the end, the, the, the book's so fucking crazy. I'm not ruining. Yeah, anything. no, yeah, I, I, that's all. I don't want to give it away. Yeah, too that's much. fine. But at the, at the end, I'm like, first of all, at one point, me and fake my ex, go coming for me at the same time. Go write, behave. We both write it. So so that separate should, emails. Separate email from my fake address and my real address. We both write the same thing. Behave, and he writes back what? And we both say in one form or another, are you behaving? Then he reaches out to her, meaning me, and says, um, it's interesting, I, I'm, I got two emails saying the same thing. Is something going on? Motherfucker, you're writing the Nigerian scammer. I mean, this seems weird, doesn't it? Why wouldn't you write me? Because it'd be so fucking humiliating. You wouldn't know how to look me in the eye if this really is true. So you're in such denial that it's that you keep reaching out to her, even making it fucking worse. And I said, Dad, dumb fuck, it's me, you piece of shit. And I, I literally can't. I literally won't see you if you can't just admit to this. And we can go back to superficial talking or whatever. I guess you are my dad. But what the fuck are you doing? And he goes, there's other things you don't know. There are other Impl- evils Im- lurking. Implying that he's raiding my ex, that she really did share secrets with him, but as a former priest, he can't share. That's a motherfucker! It was always me! I just In love... In black and white, pulled- this never happened. <laughs> he pulled the priest card out? He pu- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah. I got a hey. patron priest uh, confidentiality yeah. agreement here. Hey, according to St. Jude, I can't... Uh, this is why I don't reveal. believe in God. Like, these are the re- many reasons why I don't believe in God. This is like... Why wouldn't God come down and tell this guy he's being duped? 
He was right. a man of the cloth. He you says he literally talks look out to for God. Him. He says he talks to God. Like, God didn't clue him in at all. You Damn. Tell him that's you, too. I bet you he lies <laughs> to God in his ways. prayers. He's like, ah, me and Keith are doing great. Um, this whole time of talking to a different God. Right. It's Satan. Catfish. Some other God's been working him. <laughs> <laughs> Buddha's fucking with him as Jesus. Dude, this is uh, my favorite that's wild. thing I've ever heard it's so about. Crazy. It's so crazy. And also, like... Say I finish an, an album or uh, the first book I book I wrote was an autobiography. Even, oh yeah, we got that one. Too. I'd, I'd rate it, and then you know, be Dude, proud of it. Look at Keith. <laughs> <laughs> How much pussy is Keith trying to get? Here? <laughs> <laughs> this is the only time Keith's ever worn sleeves, by the way. Like <laughs> today and then in this photo, <laughs> and then you got a coloring book. I'm gonna give I give, give him my kid this coloring book. Yeah. I just it's what are you just like. Uh, the Keith, the, you're Keith, and then you got Gene Simmons. You're like the Gene Simmons of podcasting. You just constantly I, I, have merch. I'm, I'm only selling three, four things. You're gonna sell a coffin soon enough, my it's friend. Where you gotta live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Why? this so, is great. I love, uh, dude. I could see this being like a a, uh, a movie. Uh, yeah, or like a series, like a drunk history kind of oh, thing. Remember yeah. drunk history? Where they thinking, would, yeah, yeah. They would do. People would uh, yeah. act out, and you know, you were reading it. Right. And it's like their voice moving to it yeah. or their mouth moving to well, it. Well, what I was going to say is I finish a project and then I'm proud of it. And then by the time it comes out, I'm like, does anybody give a shit? Right. Yeah. Like if my first book, the point is it's a story about the everyman. I'm like, then every man has the fucking story. But this <laughs> book is different in that it's the different Crumbling people that came life. on Keith and the girl as emails came in. So that dialogue's there. Uh, my dad's emails are there. It feels like it's a group thing that I'm like. I know that's so fucking good, and I never doubt Well, it, it. reads like, um, you ever read court documents? It reads like that, yeah. in a way, because it's like you're seeing like a deposition almost, because everyone is chiming in at that time yeah. about that thing. It's an interesting way it's built. Yeah, it's I fantastic. It. Oh, that's so cool. So do you and your dad, you guys get together for yeah, holidays? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, family first. <laughs> no, in fact, my mom passed away. I didn't go to the funeral. I knew he, he weirded it out, and he... Any friend of my of my mom's, he weirded out uh, any neighbors, uh, other extended family. So the only people that were going to be there was us kids. There's five of us. Um, so he's been there to ostracize everyone yes. connected to your family. Yes, some yeah, there's, some, there's in some, some way, shape, or form, some way something. or another. Yeah, and so I went to the Airbnb and was with all the kids, but I didn't go to the funeral because I know he'll do the fake shit and like at least try to put his arm around sure. me. And then what? It's my mom's funeral and I'm ducking and weeping. Yeah, 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 yeah. You look bad. making it about me. Yeah, right. Uh, right. So the irony is I will be at my dad's funeral. That's a funny thing. But to answer your question, no, we do not. We we haven't talked at all. But I did send my dad that book and I made him sign for it and he did. That's great. I just love the long game of like, it wasn't just enough to fuck, to fucking bury him for a year, which he deserved. It wasn't enough to sh to out him in a way that was humorous to you and all of your listeners. <laughs> right. It wasn't enough to go, "Hey dad, it's me and you're a piece of shit." It wasn't enough to not go to the funeral, but you also make him sign for the book. <laughs> like you make him sign you for the book. You pay the extra dollar <laughs> right. to make sure he has to sign his name. It is brilliant nut kicking at its finest. Oh, they, 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 he keeps lying about it. He's telling my siblings different shit. I'm like, "Here's a book that you It's great. This is real now." It's Fuck off. Did, did you know that he was like that? You had a Not suspicions. to this point. During that book, I really do have like looking, almost like the sixth sense. I have looking back epiphanies. I'm like, right. this is what you were doing when mm. I was a kid. Yeah. You know, I, mm. I never necessarily respected you, but I didn't know you were such Yeah, yeah how low shit. you really were. Yeah. Right? And that none of your accomplishments were true. What about... Okay, when you're... So was he really a... Do you think he was really in the seminary? I do, Oh, so you found out he but lied about his life? Mind if, if you he found out he was and he yeah. just made that up. Yeah, if, right. Or he did go to the seminary, but somehow didn't get... Or worked there yeah. as a janitor. He, he said they offered him his own church. And I'm like, this, and he goes, it is weird. No, it's not online anywhere. It is fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, it is There's odd. no proof of anything. And your other job was a magician. That's interesting. <laughs> and horrible at that. I remember go, being an adult and I'm going to, like, he meets other It's magicians. not in the bloodline. You're a terrible clown. You're a terrible <laughs> right. magician. He makes, I was a better magician for kids that he was a magician no joke but he'd meet with like these magician buddies and I'm like let me at least see Meeting something my dad can do right 
and it was just the the lamest, dumbest shit. And I'm like, oh, you're you can't do anything. <laughs> so you just lie. What did about he do for these- a job? How did he support you he guys? Then my mom had to. Um, he he sold insurance. And that's a job oh, where yeah, you can just book. pretend okay. what you're doing. I got to go out and prospect. Right. Meanwhile, he really did. We figured out he just went to like the local park and he would eat ho-hos. Uh, then he hides the ho-hos under the wrappers under the seat. So he's just a con man. Everything. Yeah, he's a con man. Yeah, everything's, everything's a, a scam. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Isn't Nothing that great true. that you inherited the liar in him, but you made it for good? Thank you. But here's, see, to me that, and we've talked about this before, that's the difference between a scheme and a scam. Yep. Dad's a scam. Yeah, right. Pete's scheming. Scheming. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I like that. You got a good scheme. Thank yeah. you. Keith always has a good scheme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's never like, uh, what's what I'm looking for? It's never like uh, immoral. Like, it, you know. I think I only use it for good. I mean, he, you're doing awful shit to people, but it's I, always yeah. <laughs> right on time. It's yeah. like, well, I could see why I would do that. I, I make, that makes complete sense. Right. <laughs> like a shit Like a shit shit. Yeah. yeah. For example. Thank you. You deserve example. every bit of it. <laughs> So I'm interested in because you're uh, not a very emotional guy. You really do, do a lot of the bit. The bit is the emotion. Like we know we like each other because we'll just shit on each other relentlessly. Like we'll say the worst shit to each other. That's great. And that's like how great our relationship is. I love that. I love the. <laughs> like Ed and I are very shit. similar. Right. Um, but there has to be a moment, like you were saying, where the mirror is up, but it hasn't got to the point where you're comfortable and accepting of like oh, I already knew this kind of thing but you mean with that, my dad yeah well it's just your dad like what's the moment like do you remember the email where you're like kind of felt a little gross like a little hurt uh before it turned into like I'm gonna fucking bury him it's a big again not even a third into the book he says to my ex you make this old man's libido jingle that's vomitous yeah and now it's like all right well now we gotta keep going yeah but did you like, did you cry or anything? No. Oh, no. No. He, no. I, first, I was just in shock. Then I'm thinking I'm going to forgive him. Then it's going to be fine. But no. No. What are you crying at? He makes it so easy to not cry that I'm not holding back emotion. This this is what it is. And That's fuck off. Right yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> and your mom's like sick this whole time, isn't she? Yeah, she had She's dementia. Like dementia. Now that right? makes me cry. Sure. sure. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. But no, this this shit. No. Thank God she didn't know this. He said. He said. Of course not. In fact, one time. <clears throat> yeah. Get comfortable. <laughs> In fact, one time, I was talking about this on Keith and the girl, and so he tried to like cover his bases with my mom and said. You know what? I'm. I don't think I can talk to Keith anymore. He said something derogatory about you and us, which of course I didn't. Yeah. And she. And then she leaves me a message. It's in the book, but she leaves me a message. And it's the saddest fucking thing. And she's like, "Oh, Dad told me that she calls him Dad. Dad told me that um, you talked about us, and he can't talk to you right now. And I really wish you didn't, honey." And I called back and said, "Yeah, he's uh, been reaching out to my ex. And it's very inappropriate, and he's an adult. He could tell you what happened. He knows." And she goes. Oh, okay. That's good to hear, sweetie. <laughs> oh I don't wow. know if the dementia was kicking in right then, wow. or it's well, like no, denial. It's, I think it's denial. Yeah, right. It's like maybe I'd rather not know. Like, really, you're not gonna. She, so, she knows say, so much that you have no idea yeah, yeah. about this she, guy. She had to say, like, well, what was it? And he had to be like, it's so fucking disgusting, honey. I can't so even vile. tell you. I don't even want you to hear oh. how sick your son is. Oh, he's probably doing the pre- yeah. shit. Oh, right. Man. Let's say the rosary for him. So did he, uh, was he a big Catholic? Did you guys go to Catholic Catholic church and stuff like on Sunday? Oh my Christ! Not only did we go to Catholic church, my dad started a church in his basement. Oh, this guy's a oh, full blown. Wow. He's an egotist. He's, he's Koresh an without yeah. the balls. Yeah. yeah, without the bravery. I mean, these Koresh went full fucking crazy. Wow. So I I understand that some people in town maybe did flowers and shit. Maybe like three four people showed up, then they never came back because he. They realized uh, that weird. was not the gospel He's down like, there in your basement. Like, <laughs> right. And so then he didn't find the spirit of the Lord down in the Mali basement. Did you? And why then, are we talking about his interactions at the bodega? Like, <laughs> what, why did he spend 15 minutes arg- arg- about that argument he had with the guy? The He's park. talking about sitting at a park. Like, not every gospel connects to the park. <laughs> He'd make him kiss rings, literally, I'm sure. Oh, oh man. So he started, doing, he started doing church just for himself. The body of Christ. Oh, very good. And only you guys were showing up. No, we wouldn't go. My mom, <laughs> went, my mom wouldn't even go. We went to the real church. Wow. 
<laughs> so he was doing his own shit. Yeah. Just and he's very there. pleased with himself. Yeah. Did he have like the... the yes! The, the, the <laughs> you, anybody can buy him. Like I bought my Purple Heart. Anybody oh my. can buy that shit. <laughs> I honestly am thinking there that. There was a time, sorry, there was a time I remember just to be stupid. I said... This guy started his own basement church. <laughs> I bought my own Purple Heart. <laughs> I, I'm, st- I'm talking to my mom. I'm just being stupid. I'm really not trying to start nothing. But I just go, hey, you ever wonder uh, like maybe dad's cheating on you? And she just burst out laughing. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> right. Such a loser. <laughs> That's the one thing I can't believe when it comes to your father. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, That's how much of a piece of shit he was. <laughs> His own wife. Like, any other woman I'm wanting I'm stuck with him? five kids here. That's why I'm here. But I, nobody else is going to go. That's there. how big of a loser he is. That even in a day and age where the woman had very little rights right. or very little options. You married the first person you danced with or you were a whore. Period. He he, they, he He's met such a her, loser man. Right. He met her when he came over as a priest to bless her mom's house. That's when they met. <laughs> so, oh. so he and then so he just leaves. So he, the priesthood. no one knows if he was really a priest. The priesthood, but he showed up to people. He, he, he was doing up. blessings. I, he could have been a deacon. I don't know what he. I don't know, <laughs> dude. But I, it doesn't probably, hurt me to not know. He was probably just ordained himself a priest yeah. <laughs> right? he was probably doing the church thing the solo church thing back then yeah so, yeah you know, i don't know what level about he... this <laughs> she married me <laughs> right right <laughs> what's well, in the blood ordained on the internet you better go check he... that <laughs> i'm ordained on the internet and mine's more real <laughs> <laughs> Honey, get the fucking documents. <laughs> get the lawyer on the phone. I gotta make sure this is legit. We just fucking had to file taxes together. We might not really be married. She catches you fucking somebody like, no, it's okay. Keith did it. <laughs> Keith, Keith said it was fine. <laughs> he comes from a long line of deacons. <laughs> Holy shit. This fucking guy's you're you you're him. What if you're the dad too? This whole fucking thing's just a farce. Who am I? Some sick Keith Malley prank. I'm checking records and it's like I never had a dad. Wait, wait a minute, mom. <laughs> this was the house I grew up in. I swear. It turns on and like Shyamalan. Right. <laughs> uh, oh Holy my shit. god, that's amazing. So do you think you'll uh, do your are your siblings mad at you for putting There's, a wrench? There's there's one that's mad because he's as simple as honor your father and mother. And I'm like, well, Uh-oh. I don't like my dad. You do whatever the funk with your you want yeah, with yeah, your dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know this is a fact. So how, this book, so how are you more mad at me than him? Isn't that weird? I'll that do f- what I want about my dad. Truth doesn't matter to religious people. Like truth has right. no, if, if it does not fit in the agenda, religious people really won't bend that shit. Is that sibling a younger or older sibling? Older. Oh, and they're also priests. Is there a priest as well in your family? Uh, no, there's another brother that did go to the seminary and got out. Okay. Uh, he's fine with it. This other, uh, another brother thinks it's funny. One brother um, doesn't like it at all. And then my sister, my sister isn't pleased, but I'm not sending her a book. But she's not upset necessarily. The brother that went to the seminary, did he get there and they're like, hey, we know your dad. He's like, I got to go. <laughs> you know what? You know what? They they said seriously that he they did know my dad. And he's like, all right, tell me about my dad. You know, my dad doesn't tell me anything. I don't know where I'm from, yeah. literally. Yeah. Uh, you know, he doesn't share anything. Everything's bullshit. Uh, but anyway, he goes, some, if somebody said something about my dad to my brother, they, they go, uh, he always gave us rides. <laughs> You can always count on old Jimbo for a ride. <laughs> it's like, hey, you always had a sandwich. <laughs> always was eating some, a sandwich. Something I can always remember. Always, man, always had a sandwich. If we needed somebody to drop us off at a party and keep driving, your dad was, he the, was guy. the guy. <laughs> well, when you think about a con man, if, if I really fulfilled my con man, I could have easily been a con man. I would be religious. Oh, you sure. dupe so many sure. people. Yeah. Oh, you could dupe them, stupid. God, I miss my calling. That's the, before the internet, that's the calling. But I don't think your dad, does, your dad doesn't sound smart enough to be the actual con man. Right. right. No, no, he just wants to be the center of attention. He wants to be the yeah. star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. He wants to be a star. Also, he's, you've heard that saying, if you were smart, you'd be dangerous. That's my dad. Yes. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's yeah, a good yeah, way to totally. put it. Totally. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's amazing. I can't wait to read this. It's I'm, fantastic. I've, ne- I've never been excited about a book before. No, it's so funny. It's 
and some of it is so, you know, because I don't know his dad. I've never met his parents, but uh, and yeah, you know him just as much. But as that, me. yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> and you, you, it reads, you know, now that you've said it that way about you, if you were smart, you'd be dangerous. It, it really is. It reads like a sociopathic. It's sociopathic. It is. Yeah, yeah. Where it's you're going like, oh, it's everything. It, cause yeah. he's so dumb, it's funny. funny. Like it's funny because the dude's dumb. Yeah. But if he, I, if you told me that dude killed fifty people and buried him under a house, I wouldn't be like, oh, that, I hold can the, see it. Hold the cover of that other book up. You see, you see what's in the background? It's a shovel and holes next to my house, my parents' house. My dad, as punishment, and there's really just to get us out of the house if uh, my mom was at work, was to dig holes. And put nothing in them? I don't know. <laughs> oh, Would you shit. come home and then they were filled? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I just need you to get the, dig the hole and leave it. It's just, he'd act like we were given attitude. He'd have us go outside at night, dig a hole. We were allowed a flashlight, and we had to make the hole a circle three feet, or, three feet across, three feet deep. If it was wrong, we had to start over. We didn't have a ruler, so of course it was wrong. And then he said the big part of the pickaxe, son. It was three feet. That should have been my fucking clue. And I'm like, oh, okay. That wow. is psychotic. That's wild. That's like something you hear, like, like that happened in like the 1910s yeah, yeah. or something. I, but, go <laughs> dig a hole at this specific but, and this diameter. Is like the 80s. Yeah, and where did he? He must have saw nothing is original too. He would have saw that in the movie. There was a saying when we we're when he'd be uh, mad at us. He says, "Your feeble minds can't even begin to comprehend." It. It, it was fairly recently when some, somebody sent me a clip that that's from a horror movie and the bad guy saying, your feeble mind can't even begin to comprehend. I'm like, nothing's So this dude's nothing's on another real, level. Oh, yeah. Whoa. And I didn't that's realize. the bad guy. The, in the movie, the movie Gaslight, before that became a regular word we use, he showed me that movie when I was a kid and he thought the bad guy was fucking clever. He was impressed by the bad guy wow. lying to his wife. Oh, wow. man. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> that is nuts. And so now your oldest brother, he, but he's like stands by your dad. Like he's like. Uh, standing by is a big word. They, oh, okay. they, there's no way they're having real conversation, but he's not pleased with me. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, man. This is exciting. Like I can't. Still, we I just talk and we don't talk about it. But yeah, he's, yeah, if it comes up, he's not pleased. I'm just envisioning Keith's dad walking around doing old movie lines for his family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Passing it off as his own sage. On my device. own, I'm thinking we need a bigger boat. <laughs> we don't have a boat. <laughs> Was it going to be a bumpy night, Dad? <laughs> Fuck off. I just love it. <laughs> when you dig that hole... Put all that Siberian action into it, Keith. I'm, not, I'm smart. I'm, I'm not smart. like everybody says. I'm not dumb. I'm smart. I'm like, Dad, that's the idiot that says that. Go he's dig a hole, he's son. quoting Fredo. <laughs> Nobody quotes Fredo. <laughs> I really admire that Fredo, son. Uh, uh, he I was wanna... playing all the sides this Fredo. Smart. Uh, he's smart. <laughs> So, uh, so unfortunately, you didn't go to the funeral because it would have been nice to see like who showed up. Do you, do you know if the magician it was, friend no, showed it up? Was only, it was only <laughs> my siblings. You make your siblings dig the hole and bring your mom in. <laughs> he realized nobody was This is what I was prepping you for, kids. <laughs> dig the hole for your mother's <laughs> coffin. Just all the kids right. and their shovels. <laughs> <laughs> then he said he knew, realized it was only going to be us, of course. So he said, I'm going to make it a private affair. Only for us. Like, uh, oh, then, you, yeah, yeah. 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 then he ends up asking everybody from the hospice to come and they go yeah sure we'll fucking come they of course don't what are they gonna do keep coming in? you're a fucking weirdo yeah. he got kicked out of the fucking hospice my dad oh, man. yeah they had to make up COVID excuses to keep your dad out he, he, I guarantee he went to each fucking room trying to bless like, him you're, no trying to sell insurance <laughs> I don't know who's on the clock. I thought that was like a, a joke bit, like a joke job. Right. <laughs> he's trying to get him in the fucking oh, new plan. We, we, when we were kids, he'd go to the movie. We'd be at the movies. And I remember one specific time, we get up, and he turns to a stranger. He's like, that was something, right, when, when he died. And I'm like, oh, my God, Christ. Uh, and then the guy goes, yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. that was something, yeah. 
And uh, what if they weren't financially secure? <laughs> and actually, you know, it's an insurance pitch. I'm like, oh my God, I'll be in the car. <laughs> this guy might be the worst. You, it's like a he's. You ever seen that show? What we do in the shadows? And they have the energy vampire. Yeah. That's he, your dad. Yeah. yeah, he's probably been around for 300 years, <laughs> just sucking people's energy out. He's a priest, high hand in you. Then he's a fucking insurance salesman, guilting you about your life. He's making you dig holes. What a f- garbage bag! I, Holy shit. I I think my mom tried to give herself dementia. Yeah. I could use a smidge. Yeah. And uh, I don't blame her. I mean, yeah. I would want to forget a whole lot if that right. guy... And look what he's done to the kids. Like, look at you. You're all fucked up. Look at... <laughs> <laughs> Your one brother went into the seminary because right. of him? Are you right. fucking kidding me? To, to show him that he'll do it better? <laughs> oh! His fake job? <laughs> right. <laughs> I try oh to top God. you at everything, Dad. Well, that was all a lie. <laughs> I've never done anything but go to the park. Like, I literally just go to the park. And then I come home and I get you guys that dig holes so I can be alone. <laughs> right. Oh my God. <sighs> <laughs> Keith, plug where you're at and where they can get this amazing book. Uh, if you go to keithandthegirl.com slash book, or excuse me, excuse me, slash dad, keithandthegirl.com slash dad, you'll see the audio of when we talked about it on Keith and the Girl. You can download it for free. Uh, there's a link to the book there also, keithandthegirl.com slash dad. There's also parody songs that uh, people made related that I think you'll oh, enjoy man. very much. There's a video there. That's so fucking funny. It's a treasure trove of um, content. A treasure trove. But uh, yeah, you can get it on uh, Amazon right now. It's getting good reviews, if I may brag. Um, that's the big thing. And new stand-up album is out right now, number 17. It's called Nice Try Tricksters. Love it. Awesome. Where can they follow you, though? It's... Just easy. It's just unnecessary. Buy, just buy some, you know? Uh, the podcast is Keith and the Girl. Uh, you can follow at Keith and the Girl. You can follow Keith Malley. Uh, JoshRicardo.com at JoshRicardo. Now it's Keith Malley. Oh, you. Okay. Oh, 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 here we go. I was a quarterback in college. Okay, I didn't know it was your card. I didn't even bring it up. Dude, we bring, he brings it up every, every time. time. I'm so I glad Keith you put it in there for us. Oh, the fuck, we, have, we play a stopwatch <laughs> game. Fuck, fuck you both. <laughs> I was a... Uh, follow me at Emigal Comedy, Emigal.com. Email us at Working Class yes. Comedians. What, working Class. Working Class Comedians at gmail.com. At gmail.com. <laughs> yeah. You guys work on that. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting a phone we're getting number, it. too. We're working on a phone number. You yeah. can leave us voicemails. For all of you guys that yeah. use the phone <laughs> to make calls. It's just going to be <laughs> all five of you. It's just going to be me complaining <laughs> about Josh. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys again next week. Thanks, Sir. guys. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Working Class Holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on.